All right, so in this video, um, I'm actually gonna to talk to you directly because uh, when it comes to the importance of learning PLCs, automation, when it comes to uh, just troubleshooting and environments of controls and stuff of that nature, you need to realize a few key components. There's a people that ask me all the, t all the time and they say, hey, how do you know what you know? How do you know, uh, how, do you, how do you do that so quick? How do you do it so easy? Um, and to be frankly honest with you, it is not. Uh, it is not easy. It is not, um, maybe it gets made look that way, but often the people that make it look easy are the people that actually are doing the work when nobody else is watching. Uh, so they're researching, they're, they're taking time out their day. So to give you a little hint, to give you a little tip to do every single day, it doesn't matter if it's Monday through Friday. It doesn't matter if it's Monday through Sunday. Okay, every single day that you are focused on your career or your task or you're, you're moving yourself forward, I want you to take at least one, at least block out like 15 minutes, 15 to 15 minutes to an hour and just say, this is the time of day that I am going to learn something new. I'm going to either learn something new or continue learning about what I have been current, I have been learning on, right? So if you start out learning something new, the odds are you're not going to learn it in 15 minutes. Um, and then when you do learn it, practice it, practice it, practice it, practice it. What do I mean by practice it? Um, if I show you my screen right now, you can easily see I have tools like Easy PLCs Machine Simulator. Um, I have tools, all kind of tools that I do uh, third party stuff with just to figure out like a challenge myself uh, when I feel like I'm not as sharp as I used, I once was, or I need to uh, go about making things better. There's all kind of machines in here that I program. I build my own, um, you know, just different ones. You've seen them on my YouTube channel. Um, and when it comes down to it, I have all the PLC programs. Like I can look at all the PLC programs that I've built, um, the easy PLC programs that I've built. Like this one, for instance, working on the robot engine. But when it comes down to it, I want you to understand no matter what you're doing, what you're learning, you need to take the time and block out a time every single day. It doesn't matter. It needs to be almost to set it to your Google calendar on your phone. You look at your phone more than you do anything sit on your Google calendar on your phone and make sure you take the time and block off the time for the day and say, this is the time I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to invest in myself to build better my own career and my better my own self and my knowledge in the world, in the world that you're trying to progress in and get better in. Now, this is only going to better yourself and your better your career as you further you go about it because every single day adds up. If you do 10 minutes a day times 3, 365, again, that's so much more time than you had when you did absolutely nothing or watched random YouTube videos when you felt like you needed to. Um, when it comes down to it, if you pick a time during the day and even at that point in time, build a task level that you build a task to say, okay, well, uh, these are the things that I want to learn or here's the things I've been and I've been looking at to better myself and to watch and to better my uh, my knowledge about automation or PLC programming or even troubleshooting. And these are the topics that are interesting that I'm interested in. L make a list of those and find those. Make a list of the videos that are associated with those so you can make then you can just go to your list every single day. Watch that 15 minute video and you're done for the day. Or if you're if you really feel on fire that day and you really feel like you're you want to progress and you you're like you're doing good, watch another one and do it and then go ahead and practice what you just learned. Don't just watch the video. Practice what you learn and make sure you build up that muscle memory. Now when it comes up to it, I'm making this video just to show you how I learn my my learning process and again all the things that have helped me before in the past. Again, when it comes down to it, this may re relate to some people and not relate to other people, but when it comes down to it, you need to understand the process of learning. Don't try to overwhelm yourself with a bunch of information in one day or two days or 30 days or, or every single day. Don't just try to consume information as much as possible because you're gonna get information overload. You're not gonna retain it, and when it comes time to use it, you're not gonna have it. So take a little time each day, block off that time, make a task level, 
And then when it comes down to it, like I said, make a Google reminder on your calendar for that day. Never ignore it. Never put it, make it re- like it's, it's a task that you have to do and do that task. So when it comes down to it, I just want to add value to you guys and help you guys learn and grow. And that's the whole purpose of me having over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. And I just wanted to make sure that I pass it along about me teaching and helping help actually helps me progress as well. So maybe that that is that practice that I'm doing that actually helps you that helps other people and it continuously is making that process grow again i built all this to help people i have a uh a free um you know uh plc training uh, on my actual our free tutorials and stuff like that on my website i have a, a whole um training environment i have all these uh videos on youtube and everything i just wanted to show you how i would learn how i would grow and how i would get better from what I do and how I go about it. So hopefully this help was helpful for you and we'll see you guys on the next one.